This is a series of videos featuring the hotels that we stay in when we're traveling. Now our budget is $15 each per day and that's for absolutely everything, not just for accommodation. And we'd never book anything. Uh, a lot of the hotels that we stay at aren't on booking sites. They don't take credit cards, they don't take debit cards, cash only. Now these videos are in no particular order of our travels. So we're going to show you what the room is like and after a few days of staying there we're going to tell you at the end of the video what the stay was like. Another edition of where we stay and what we pay. This time we're in Villa Ahumada which is in the state of Chihuahua in Mexico and this town lies roughly in between Juarez and Chihuahua City. So what's the name of this place again? This is Motel Gabby's. Um, now this is a little bit more than what we normally spend. It's 450 pesos, which works out at around... 22.50 US. So that's $11.25 yeah. each. So a wee bit more than what we normally spend. Um, but it's a small town, so there aren't that many hotels in it, and believe you us. We walked around last night, we checked out all the hotels, and this was the best value for our budget that we could find. Um, so yeah, here we are. And we did stay at night here, so uh, we're just going to take you on a brief tour of the room, show you what's up here, and uh, then we're going to tell you, as always at the end of the video, what the stay was like. So let's begin the tour, shall we? Yep. Okay. Last night we did get in really late, um, so we were absolutely bleary-eyed, and you didn't want to see us try to give a tour. <laughs> and it was the last thing you wanted to see so hence we waited until today yeah. but just so you know we have been living here for a few hours yeah that would have been our last tour i think if we'd have filmed last night huh? that would have been the yeah. last tour we'd have you taken you wouldn't want to see anymore yeah. all right okay. so the tour all right we got a double bed uh just what we asked for um two bedside tables which is nice as well that's yeah, actually really nice you don't really get to. Yeah. yeah and speaking of the bed here we have to show you something that uh, i don't think we've shown uh, in the videos yet, but this is pretty common for our price range in Mexico anyway, so and we always forget, we forget to foam up every time <laughs> Well that bed ain't going nowhere, buddy. Yeah, that's that's a concrete base um, tiled <laughs> So you're not moving the bed if you don't like the position of the bed tough you still yep. could stay where it is Yeah, that goes all the way around there. Yeah, that's a That's an interesting feature. It's got a headboard though. All right. Uh, ah, yeah, okay. yeah, keep the children away from this one right here. That socket works. Fan in the summertime, and it that's works. handy, yeah. And uh, we're in like the beginning of March right now, and this is coming in handy, and it works. Yeah, this is probably the highlight of the room. So this was fantastic uh, when the lady showed us last night. It's even better that it actually works. Because um, <laughs> it's really, really cold here. Like Jerry said, it's the beginning of March. We're up in Chihuahua. And this morning it was 38 degrees. So it was a bit chilly. So to be able to just get up and turn this on oh, was so lovely. And when we got in last night, because even just walking down from the bus, it was, it was freezing out there. It was freezing. So this... Oh, it was like see your breath cold. You yeah. Know? Yeah, it, this is this is fantastic, absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, right next to that, I want to point this out. Not something we see frequently in Mexico. Uh, we did see this a lot in Nicaragua, and that's a uh, sink outside of the bathroom. Um, a little cubby hole there, a couple shelves for putting your bags. Quite nice. Chair. Yeah, a chair that has definitely seen some use over the years. Um, it's kind of missing a little. Uh, armrest right there. You've already taped it up, haven't you? Yeah, oh, that's right. I had to put electrical tape on here because uh, where the screws went in, there was like a little uh, couple shards of metal that kind of caught my arm. Um, so yeah, I taped those up. So that's not going to hurt anybody anymore. Nice, nice flat screen TV. When the lady showed us this uh, room last night, she was very adamant about turning it on and going through. Uh, and showing me that it was a uh, Toto Canale, so all the channels, and there's a satellite out on the uh, the roof of the building here, so um, satellite cable, yeah, nice touch. Um, she was also pretty excited about the heater. I mean, don't blame her, because so am I. Um, she turned it on for us a couple times, yeah. and let us know that it worked, and uh, boy, we cranked that thing last night there for a couple hours just to get some heat in the room. So. And this morning, yeah. Uh, Very nice touch. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. It's needed around here. All right. Uh, is it time to go to the bathroom? Bathroom. Bathroom time. Oh yeah, by the way, Wi-Fi. Uh, great Wi-Fi signal in here. I'll tell you more about that later at the end of the video. So this also comes with Wi-Fi. Um, all right, let me turn the light on. Nice bright bathroom, window there. Um, look at that, a toilet seat, Fiona. All right. And a lip on the shower. Great. And a shower curtain. <laughs> yeah, I know. You step down into the shower, that's nice. All your water's contained in there shower curtain. It's also got a toilet roll holder. It's also <laughs> something else that typically in our budget, you know, you'll, you'll have these little things sticking out of the wall, but you won't have the actual roll holder. Right, um, yeah. That's... So yeah, it's just another thing to point out to you. We know, we get it, our budget is our budget. We're not looking for, you know, five-star hotels, but these are just little things that we want to point out to you. Um, how our budget goes, what you get, and if you're on the same kind of budget, what you can expect. Yeah, we're, we're glass half full people, definitely. <laughs> when you see something like that, it kind of makes your day. I guess I never even thought of that. Thank you for making me realize that. I just thought of it now, because it's there. like there's so many so many rooms that we stay in, and you go, ah, oh, yeah, you just, you take it for granted. So you look at it and you go, ooh. Take that for granted sometimes. Look how high that thing is, it's like. I can't really reach them. I'm on my tippy toes to get that, and I'm grateful for that. Um, okay. All right. What else? Two towels, again. Still a lovely touch. Yeah, they were waiting for us, those towels were in here when we got, when she showed us the room last night, so. Um, I think that's it, really, for the room. Yeah, I think it is. It's nice uh, and nice. Yeah, um, looks... We'll also show you the courtyard area, and we'll explain a little bit about there. It's um, more of a parking lot. It's, yeah, this place is huge, and there's ample parking, and it's secured parking. There's a gate. Right. They close the gate at 10 o'clock at night, you were up at six. You said the gate was open at six? Uh, shortly after that. Okay. Yep. So we don't really know what time the gate opens up, but if you are getting in late and you have an early start, don't know about that for you. Um, so maybe this is a segue into what our first night was like now that we've sure. let's start talking yep. about. But there is ample parking. If you've got a car, it's a good place. Bed. Wicked comfortable. Ah, oh, Jesus. The and bed. warm. The bed was fantastic. Now, granted, we had been on a bus for 38 hours, so anything might have been comfortable at that point. Yeah. <laughs> but honestly, this is, it's, it's one of those pillow top mattresses. Um, really comfortable, two blankets on the bed so that even when you shut the, the heater off, you're still lovely and comfy and cozy in that little nest. Sure. It's, it's like a little nest, the bed. <sighs> yeah, and we knocked the heater off before going to bed yeah. and um, it was more than warm enough in that bed and it was comfortable. Oh my gosh. Great bed. Yep. Brilliant, brilliant bed. Okay, uh, let's the see. Heater, we've already talked about that. Yeah. It's great. It throws out a nice bit of heat. I'll stop talking about the heater. Yeah, we've, we even turned it on there just for demonstrations sake. So uh, the Wi-Fi, uh, nice strong signal here. Um, very decent uh, download speeds like uh, 9 or 10 megabits per second or megabytes, whatever, whatever hell the gauge of measurement is. But the uh, upload speeds are really bad like um you know it's like half of a megabit or a megabyte so not not a big deal just for general web browsing more than ample um let's see it's very quiet here as well i should say i should say the clientele any clientele staying here respectful and quiet there is a train tracks right across the street train runs right through uh via awamata and uh you can hear that throughout the night so if you're a light sleeper um, that could be a big deal. I sleep with earplugs, and like Fiona said, we were on a bus for, you know, more than 30 hours over the last, uh, you know, a few days, so um, uh, we slept like babies. So not only does the train run through here, it also blasts its horn. So it's not just you're hearing it, you know, clanking across right. the rails. It's blasting the horn, no matter what hour of the day. It's, it's not just like, you know, yeah. daytime thing. So it does blast the horn. Um, so again, maybe like us, you need a 38 hour bus journey to sleep through it. But I don't sleep with earplugs and I slept soundly. That train could have ran me over last yeah. night and I still wouldn't have heard it. Yeah. So that could have been the key last night. All right. Um, um, one last thing, or oh, no, maybe not the last thing. Another thing that's really important. It's the second highlight. There's a tiebreaker for me with the highlight between the heater and the shower. 
the shower is the big thing for me. The water is scalding hot all day long and at night. Um, anytime we've turned that tap on in the last, whatever it's been since we've been here, we've had scalding hot water. Um, so again, the marker for me is, I love a scalding hot shower. If I have to temper that thing with cold water, then you know that's a hot shower. And yes, I've had to temper that shower with cold water. Yeah, it's, so, a, it's a champion, isn't it? It's, oof, yeah. Okay, let's see, what else? Um, um, you've done the internet. Yeah. It talks about how quiet or not so quiet it could be with the, uh, the train. I don't know how many channels are there, but I could just tell it's a, it's a pretty kick ass cable package, so maybe I'll turn that on later, but um... um the location! <laughs> this town, um, we will have a video about the town, because there is something very special about this town. Yeah. So just keep an eye off that, there will be a video about the town. Um, the town is basically all on the main road that runs right through. Highway 45, as it is. Yeah. And the train tracks run right through, and everything that you could possibly want is on that main road, including the hotel. So the hotel is dead handy for everything, including the bus. If you're hopping on a bus and you're heading to the border or you're heading into Mexico, just a few steps away and you're on the bus. Mm -hmm. I think we would definitely come back and we'd stay here again, so. Definitely. Pretty happy with the Motel Gabby's. Yeah, again, that price, you kind of go, oof. But then you think of everything you get. The heater. <laughs> the heater, if you're here in winter, that will justify every last peso or penny for you. You're hot for that, aren't you? I'm hot for the heater and the shower, I can tell you. Um, yeah, those two things will justify every last peso and penny that yeah. you spend here. Um, Should we take a look outside just to give them a general? Yeah, show them the, the courtyard, the, as you the call it. The courtyard and the gate. It's more of a parking lot. But. Um, yeah. All right, let's take a little Stroll. peeky outside here. So it's a nice spacious place here. Um, a little covered parking area in there. All right. Okay. Town lies just beyond those gates. And again, you're gonna have to stay tuned to the channel to figure out why exactly we're here, so. Anything you could possibly want, just through the <laughs> I know. <laughs> Into the arms of the Ahumada. Okay, I think that's it. That's it, yeah. We cover everything. So. Oh, we're letting the heat out. Close that door. Oh, okay. Letting the heat escape. <laughs>